It's very nice to see you back together. Um, what, what have these scenes been like to, to film and to watch back? Well, I mean, for me personally, it's been very weird to see myself lying in the hospital bed. I think nobody ever really gets to experience that unless you're an actor and you, you film a story of that, of that nature. So that was quite bizarre, but more so, I've just been really overwhelmed with the response. The amount of people that have come up to me and said this has affected them in real life and this has actually happened to them on a daily basis. People are coming up to me in the street. Um, so I just feel like we've done a good job in that respect. As long as people are being touched and are receiving the message that we intended to put out, then job done. I'm really pleased, I'm really happy. Well, it is such a hot topic in London right now. We, every day we're seeing more, more stories of people carrying knives. So is it the hope in doing this story that even if a few people put down those knives or thought again, that, that the job, the job is, it's been worth doing? 100%. I think we're just trying to open a conversation as much as anything because there isn't a fix it. We don't, nobody knows how to fix this situation that seems to be spiralling out of control, not only in London but throughout the country. And so somewhere people are not being heard. And, and I think what's so great about a soap such as this nature is that you're able to show it from different people's points of view and how they all react to something that touches them and that isn't just a headline or on the news. When something touches you personally, either through a friend, through a school friend, through a, a mother, through a, a brother, it, it shows how they cope with it. It's not necessarily the right way to do something as far as, you know, we don't all behave PC or, or correctly, it's but it's a truth, and I think it's important to show this truth because it will get people talking and me, might get somebody thinking and might get somebody thinking another way. You know, I mean, they've, we've seen a lot through um, Keegan's eyes. You know, not only is he grieving because he nearly died, but also he lost his friend and he feels guilty, and also he feels vulnerable. So he carries a knife because he feels vulnerable. Well, it, you can understand it. So it, it's a way of saying, look, don't don't tell everybody they're doing something wrong. Try and work out how we can make it right. Mm -hmm. And is that, is that kind of the message that Kamal tries to get across? Because she sets up something in the community centre, doesn't she? And it's, um, a box to handle the nice. And, and she, she gets a little bit of conflict from some members of the community for that. Well, she does it all wrong because she doesn't know how to do it. I mean, who does? Mm -hmm. Who does? Until you're faced with a situation, that's how you learn. And um, so she just does what she thinks is the right thing and doesn't necessarily think it through. And that's also a wonderful, I think it's wonderful that we're able to do that and to show that because why should we all know what we're doing? Nobody really knows what they're doing in any sort of form of life. So to see people make mistakes and then learn from it is just brilliant, mm -hmm. brilliant. Finally, Shane, do you, do you have any plans for what you're going to do next? Is there anything in the pipeline or are you just kind of just... I'm going to chill after those last scenes. It's a bit of both, you know. I mean, we obviously filmed this quite a while back, so it's almost as if it's all being rehashed at the minute because it's only now coming out to the television. Um, but for me personally, yeah, I've had a bit of a relax after I finished filming. Um, and now I'm back to recording. I'm writing and recording in the studio, getting back to the music side of my life, which I've missed fondly. So, yeah, I'm very excited to be doing that. And, you know, I'm, like I said before, I'm not going to close the door on acting because and up until I joined the show, it was something that I'd never really considered I would do professionally in this sense. So yeah, it's definitely been a learning curve. I've really enjoyed myself and I'm excited to see what future roles might happen if they do. But yeah, music is the forefront at the minute, 100%.